Other local school districts are working to finalize their budgets for the next school year as well. Tonight, the Isleta School Board focused on the district's new budget. CBS 4 at 10's Eileen Herrera is live at YSD headquarters in East El Paso to show you what happened. The Isleta School District is facing a budget deficit of $13.9 million for the next school year. Tonight, board members and administrators saying they need to look for ways to reduce that budget deficit. During tonight's meeting, the board was presented with recommendations to freeze pay increases, as well as removing the $500 holiday stipend employees receive in December. The stipend would save the district $3 million. The board was also advised to not fill non-essential job openings. However, health coverage for employees would stay the same. During tonight's presentation, it was explained low student enrollment and the lack of state funds are the primary factors adding to this budget deficit. Factors other districts have also stated are affecting their budget. In addition to YSD at $13.9 million, similar sized districts are also facing a double digit digit deficit. We reported on SISD facing a $41 million budget deficit for next school year and EPISD says their deficit is over by $12 million, while Canutillo ISD is at $4.3 million. The YSD school board and administrators will continue to discuss options to bring that $13.9 million budget deficit down. They are expected to adopt a budget for next school year starting next month. I'm reporting live in East El Paso tonight, Eileen Herrera, CBS 4 at 10.